All right, we all do it together. <laughs> Thank you very much. My name is uh, Omri Gazit. I am the co-founder and CEO of Asserto, uh, which is a developer platform for building fine-grained, policy-based, real-time access control for cloud-native applications. We're also uh, the primary maintainers of Topaz, which is an open source authorization project uh, for uh, API and application authorization. And both of those projects are heavy users of the open policy agent, OPA. And so we care a lot about secure software supply chains for OPA policies. And I'll talk a little bit about um, how we do that. So first of all, OPA policies are becoming important application lifecycle artifacts. And as such, they need to be secured. Um, they're used in Kubernetes admission control, um, conf test, which is applying policy for configuration files. Uh, you can use OPA as a general decision engine that you can embed into your application. And you can also use it uh, for app and, application, app and API authorization, um, like I said, with Topaz. Um, so what's so hard uh, about securing uh, OPA policies? Well, policies are by default built into tarballs. And tarballs don't really lend themselves well to application, to, sorry, to secure software supply chains. And so fortunately, uh, in the ecosystem, we have the Open Container Initiative, uh, OCI. It's been around for about eight years, uh, Linux Foundation project, and now um, has been taught to be able to contain other artifacts besides Docker images. And so at the same time, we want the Docker uh, workflow for being able to build and tag and push and pull policies just like Docker containers. And for that, we have the Open Policy Containers project, which is a CNCF sandbox project for doing exactly that. Um, the third thing we need is metadata. So we need to be able to store signatures and things like that and verify signatures. And fortunately, OCI allows us to do that. And then last but not least, we have SIGSTOR, which is uh, the cosine tool is quickly emerging as the way to be able to compute signatures over images and verify those signatures. So let's talk about um, how these pieces all fit together. Like I said, policy, the policy CLI is the Docker workflow for o OPA policies. And you know, I can show as opposed to tell. I have a gist here that you, know, you can uh, click the link on. Uh, I'm going to save you the effort of uh, installing various things uh, and start this uh, by using the po policy CLI to create a uh, sample hello world. Um, and because I can't really type and use the mic at the same time, uh, I'm going to use the up arrow key as my friend here. Uh, so this basically went off and created a um, Hello World Rego file. And I am going to be able to build uh, a policy image, just like Docker build. Uh, we give it a source directory and a, uh, a container image and a tag, and it will go build for us. And in fact, uh, the policy CLI allows you to list images. Uh, so this one was created 10 seconds ago. And uh, lastly, we can push it to uh, a container registry. Here we're using G GHCR, uh, GitHub Container Registry. So as simple as that, uh, building these things. Um, Next, uh, we want to be able to sign them. So we're going to use cosine for that. Uh, and again, I'm going to uh, pick this story up. Uh, rather than generate a key pair in front of your very eyes and, and all that, I'm just going to use cosine to uh, sign the container image that we just created. Um, so here it's complaining that I'm passing it a tag instead of a signature. Ignore that. <laughs> um, I'm going to verify that signature. Um, you know, so it's going to go out, uh, look up the annotation, and uh, you know, in, indeed, it has actually uh, verified the signature based on the public file that we public key file that we created. So those are the components of uh, being able to build this into a, a secure software supply chain. Last uh, thing in the last 30 seconds I'll talk about is how do you actually tell OPA to use one of these container images? Well, you create a new service of type OCI, give it some credentials, and then in the bundles, you pass in as the resource uh, the fully qualified uh, container image. Um, Topaz does the same thing. You can uh, use Topaz configure, pass it as a resource, a container image, and it'll go do its thing. That's all the time we have. Um, if you want the slides and the clickable links, uh, scan the QR code, uh, and you can always find me after uh, for more questions. Thank you very much.